Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're doing Arduino stepper motors. Welcome everybody to this episode of the DIY and Digital Railroad. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates, including digital Arduino tutorials like this one. So today we're going to be using a stepper motor to turn an in-scale turntable with an Arduino. Now I was fortunate enough to have YouTube user Pierre-Luc Gagnon 3D print this turntable for me, so thank you so much. I'll link his channel right up here. I highly suggest just subscribing and you can see here we use a little rotary potentiometer to turn the turntable and I'm going to be showing you how I do that it involves very little code thanks to the way that Arduino is set up so let's talk about a few of the parts you're going to need this is a stepper motor and this is specifically a 28BYJ-48 stepper motor. And these typically come with a control board, as you can see here. When you order them online, make sure that you have a control board that comes with them. And this is, I will link this in the description below, and you just connect them like so. So to do this tutorial, we're going to need, of course, an Arduino. And in this case, we'll be using the Arduino Uno because it is one of the easiest to prototype with. We will also be using a breadboard and a rotary potentiometer. We'll also need six male to female DuPont connector prototyping wires and five male to male DuPont connector prototyping wires. So we're going to start off by making the controller with the rotary potentiometer. We're going to attach the rotary potentiometer to the breadboard like so. On this side right here at the edge, we're going to use that as our power strip. We'll start off by hooking up red for our hot wire and white for our ground wire. Now we're going to take something from the ground side and we're going to connect it to the, as you can see right here, the right side connector of the potentiometer. The potentiometer has three pins one for hot, one for ground, and one for sensor output. And we're gonna connect the hot line all the way to the far left side. And then we're gonna take this orange wire and we're gonna connect it to the center pin, which is the sensor pin that will go into our Arduino. So that's all the wiring we need to do for the potentiometer. Now we're gonna hook everything up to our Arduino. We're going to start off by hooking up our ground and our hot to the 5 volt connection in the Arduino. We then take our orange line and hook it up into analog pin A0. We're then going to take these connected DuPont connectors and connect them to the circuit board that connects to the stepper motor. The stepper motor does need power. I'm going to be using black for hot and white for ground on this particular wire. We're then going to connect to the 5 volt and ground connections that are over on the other side. Next, we're going to take four male to female DuPont connector wires that I have left together and connect them into digital pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then we're going to connect them into pins 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the circuit board, respectively. The way that this works is there are a series of magnets in the stepper motor, and the Arduino is going to send pulses in order by way of these digital pins so that it can activate the magnets and pull the stepper motor around in a circle. Last but not least, we need to plug in our stepper motor to its circuit board. And voila, that's everything we need to do. Let's head over to the computer. 
Okay, everyone, we are now in our Arduino IDE, which is our programming software. And rather than writing a sketch, we're going to show you a very simple way to get this stepper motor turntable working using a sketch that already exists. So what we're going to use, we're going to use an example sketch from an existing Arduino library. Now, what we're going to do is we're first going to make sure that our library is in here. Now, we saw how to add libraries and manage libraries in another video, and I'll link that right up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be saying that, yes, we have the stepper motor library in our Arduino library. So that's good. That's usually one that comes standard with it. So what we need to do is we need to go to File, Examples, and then we need to go down to Stepper, and then we need to go to Stepper Speed Control. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, so we've opened up our stepper speed control program, and the best part about this, we only have to do one tiny, tiny modification, but we're going to look through this entire thing really quick um, and just look at some of the previous things that we have done and show you why we hooked up stuff the way we did. So, what we have here is include stepper.h. That means that it is including the Arduino stepper motor library. So that's what that is. And then we have a constant integer, steps per revolution, equals 200. And as you can see, this tells you all this stuff. This changes this to fit the number of steps per revolution for your motor, which means it's going to take 200 little moves of the magnets inside the stepper motor to create a revolution. The next thing we're going to see here is we see stepper my stepper and steps per revolution and you can see that we have the pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. If you remember correctly we hooked up pins 8, 9, 10, and 11 to the stepper motor so that's why we did that. And it's important that you have those pins hooked up together and in order for 8, 9, 10, and 11 or else the motor won't rotate. So we don't need to do anything in the setup, so that's why there's nothing there, but let's go ahead and look at the loop real quick. So we have a sensor reading of analog read A0, so that's what we plugged our potentiometer into. Now the potentiometer is a 10K potentiometer, and it adjusts the amount of resistance based on where you have turned the potentiometer. Next we have the motor speed, which this gives us our ratios, 0 to 1023, which is the uh, which is the maximum you can have on an analog reading, and 0 to 100. And that's going to set up the motor speeds. So that's going to map all those. So we're going to say, if motor speed is greater than 0, then my stepper sets speed to whatever the motor speed is. So whatever this ratio comes out to be is what it's going to set it to. So it's going to be set from 0 to 100. Now the thing we have to do with this, this is the only change that we have to do. We have to take this and we're going to set it to 5. The reason that we're doing that is because the particular stepper motor that we're using is a little jumpy right now uh, when it gets all the way down to 0. It doesn't quite stop and it does, it does something weird. So we're going to have it not start until it reads that 5 in the motor speed. So that's the only change we're going to do and we're going to make sure that the entire sketch works, which it should. Okay, so the entire sketch works. We just verified it and compiled it and now we can upload it onto Arduino. So let's go ahead and go do that. Okay everyone, so here's the final setup. I'm just using my computer for power here. You do not need your computer hooked up to the Arduino in order to run this. You can simply plug in a 12 volt power supply or hook this in through USB 5 volt to the wall. So let's go ahead and test and see if this works. We'll go ahead and turn the rotary potentiometer. You can see that the lights come on here and our turntable starts turning. 
Now this turntable was custom printed and designed with the mount for this stepper motor in particular. So you're not gonna get that lucky unless you custom print one yourself. But this is how you make a stepper motor that can run a turntable. So thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates, including videos like this. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.